Hi everybody, welcome back to the Pixar Cars Thomas and Friends fan channel. Today's video takes place in Radiator Springs on a Saturday night. Let's turn on the lights and set the stage. All the cars were gathered around the VA Cafe. As usual, Doc and Sheriff were telling stories and everyone else was gathered around. And Mater was up to his old tricks again. Remember, remember how they pranked Mater and Mater in the ghost light? Well, he's about to get a taste of his own medicine again. All the cars were sitting here talking and made it would sneak up behind them. Boo! And they all got scared and run out of the way and he was knocking things over, it flows. And all of a sudden, Doc started talking right quietly to Sheriff. So they all gathered around, but Mater wasn't invited. Doc was whispering to Sheriff, but they didn't see Mater hiding over here in the corner, listening to every word he said. And Doc was saying, yes, it's true. There's gold hidden in the old Radiator Springs Creek bed. Yes, there is. I know it's for sure. The sheriff said, are you sure? We should go out first light in the morning to look, because I heard it too, but I thought it was a false rumor. Doc said, no, I know for certain there's gold along the creek bed at Radiator Springs Creek. Let's go first thing in the morning. We'll go look for it. Mater heard everything. Later that night, when Mater went home, he couldn't sleep. All I kept thinking of was the gold buried in the old Radiator Springs Creek. I have to get that gold, he said. I have to get it. But I have to get there earlier than they do. I'll have to be in disguise. But what Mater didn't know was the day before, Doc, Lightning, Sheriff, and Flo, and Ramon, who was standing watch on the overpass, they planted some gold on the creek bed in amongst the dirt. And they covered it over so it couldn't be seen. Mater couldn't take it anymore. I have to get that gold, he said. So he went outside and said, Daggum! And switched into his prospecting outfit. I'm all set now, he said. I can go paying for the gold and get the gold before anybody else does. So Mater sneaked it up town right slow. And as Mater was leaving town, trying to sneak to the creek bed, they all looked at each other and said, I can't believe he's taking the bait. The sun was just coming up when Mater went over the overpass and he said, there's a good spot to go. Prospecting for gold right down there, a big pile of rocks. The first couple of tries, he got nothing. Nothing but pure dirt and pure rocks. And he said, ah, maybe that story's not true after all. Next thing you know, on his next batch, Dad, gum, he said, is that, is that gold? Is that gold in my pan? I think it is. So Mater went like crazy, getting all the gold he could. Before he knew it, Mater's pan was full of gold. But what he didn't notice, off to the side, all the boys were watching him having a great laugh. So Mater took off into town. By that time, all the cars were back to their spots again, waiting for Mater. Mater came running to town. Woohoo! I'm gonna be rich! I'm gonna be rich! Look at the gold I got! He said, Look at the gold! Wow! They said, That's amazing! Let's have a look at that, Mater! Mater quickly switched back to his old self and put the pan of gold down in the middle of town. Wow! That's amazing, they said. I have to get over to Britain to see Finn McMissile and Holly Schiffwell to get that appraised. I can't wait to go over there, he said. The rest of the cars were amazed that Mater fell for it. And next thing you know, Mater had to get Sidley to take him over to Europe. It didn't take long for Sidley to get there. Mater loaded the gold into the back and strapped himself in for the ride across the ocean. The last thing they heard him say before the plane left was, I'm going to be rich. I can't believe it. I can finally get that paint job. And they were all sitting back laughing. Mater's getting pranked. And off they went. Sidley took off across the ocean. Mater's plane arrived just in time for afternoon tea. As usual, Finn and Holly were out in front of the Big Ben clock having their tea, and Mater came rushing up. What you got there, Mater? said Finn. Holly said, Wow, looks like gold, Mater. Is that why you're so excited? Yes, he said, I found this gold in a Radiator Springs Creek bed, and I'm going to be rich. I need you to tell me how much it's worth. Finn got a closer look. Um, I hate to tell you, Mater. You've been pranked. This is fool's gold. What? Daggum! I can't believe they pulled a prank on me like that there. Um, have you been pranking them a lot at the Red Eater Springs on Saturday night again, Mater? Uh, no more than usual. Ooh, wait till I get back. Mater couldn't believe he got pranked. Back on the plane he went. Back to Red Eater Springs. When the plane finally made it back to Red Eater Springs, Mater got off the back and he made his way around to the front. Daggum, said Mater, you had me fooled that time, and they all had a great laugh. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you liked my fool's goat story. 
please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks very much. Have a great day.